All right, so we got back at it, got in here and tore some stuff apart, and you can see it's it's just the knuckle that holds it all together right here. It looks like whoever put the wheel woods on just didn't uh, Loctite it. You know, wrong bolts, whatnot. Who knows? Maybe they uh, stripped them or broke them or whatnot. And then again, even on this side, I was looking at this. Like you roll the tire forward and backward. And you can see the bracket right there is loose. You know? So whoever put this together just didn't use Loctite on everything. No big deal. Like I said, we'll go start going through this whole thing, start tearing pieces apart here and there and figure it out. So I got that thing cleaned on up. Now I got to get in here and get a stud pulled out of here, or what's left of a bolt, I should say. Go through, clean all these threads, tap them, or I should say clean them out. Make sure those are all good. And then start uh, figuring out exactly how to put this thing back together and uh, like clean it all out and do it with Loctite because yeah, this can't happen again. So I don't know. That's pretty, uh, pretty worn in right there. I don't know what to say about that. And then these things, my gosh, the holes got all wallered out. These are just big holes to begin with. So I don't know. We will, uh, this doesn't look too bad. Yeah, very, get very you getting smoky. on it. seals put in the front hubs and uh hit the one in pull this one out and come to find out it's dented to shit well this has actually been in so i'm gonna chuck it up in the lathe real quick and uh just spin it back true round so i'm gonna try and smack it with a hammer and stuff like that to try and bend it back out but my luck i'll just chip it off or break it off so just gonna stick it back in the lathe spin it back out real quick and uh get a new seal put in it All brand new grade 12 hardware. Make it do it right. <sighs> All right, so I'm done for the day. It's dark, it's late. Went on through, cleaned up all the rotors, got all the grease and stuff off of them. All the bearings repacked and 
put back in new seals put on and all that happy poo i've got new gaskets all coming for the born lynches did a quick little paint job on those to clean them up a little bit you know nothing special so i'm gonna get this all taken care of tomorrow um depending on what time the gaskets show up should have this thing back on the ground tomorrow start tuning the motor and getting uh, a few miles on it and driven down the road now that it's actually safe but anyway see you guys tomorrow so this thing needs a bunch of stuff done to it i just picked up all the new bushings uh poly bushings for the leaf springs and looks like i'm gonna try and use these shackles i was telling the guy that owns the truck that uh they're probably gonna take these little extendo shackles off i guess if i just make the correct stops for them they'll probably work fine so just got to make them work properly replace the bolts and do stuff a little bit better but got all brand new poly bushings for all the leaf springs and also i'm going to take the leaf springs out set them on top of each other because i'm pretty sure like back when i bought it i tried to show you guys or whatnot that uh the thing's sitting crooked and i figured out what the front was i mean you guys already saw that but um as far as like the whole thing sitting crooked it still is sitting crooked a little bit like i don't understand why if, if it comes up on you guys i'm you know like it's not completely flat so i don't know if there's a, a bent spring or if it's like the spring perch is messed up because don't get me wrong whoever did the rear end probably shouldn't touch a welder again or at least go some, go take some classes anyway gonna take this thing apart leaf springs off uh match them all up new bushings and everything and then start putting stuff back together the top's gonna come off we have all brand new seals for the seam down here new window seals gasket we have the roof gasket right here because this one's all you know messed up i'm gonna go through the roof this thing was rhino lined and i'm not saying it's bad we're probably gonna leave it but i think we're gonna paint the roof white which we're gonna see how that pans out but i definitely want to go around and take off all this excess rhino line that they got on it like i have no idea why they put so much rhino line even on the outside like it spilled over like all they had to do is tape this off um we've got hinges coming for the gate or the hatch whatever you want to call this thing because whoever did this whole giddy up there's supposed to be a big slot right here for the hinge to go up inside for that thing to, to pivot on and this crossbar doesn't have it so i don't know what the deal is with that but one thing at a time first things first we're gonna start with i'm gonna start doing all the leaf springs checking perches i'm almost positive uh the pins in the rear leaf springs are either sheared or whatnot and it's slid forward because passenger side it looks like like i can barely stick my hand right here before it hits the flare and then if you go to the other side you know i've got a country mile so the ass in sitting crooked inside the uh inside the the land cruiser right now anyway that's what we're gonna do take this fucking part and then also got to get on bumpers too got to order the parts for spare tire swing stuff like that i'm gonna get the main crossbar off of here and start building a whole new front bumper we've already got some cool stuff that's gonna go on it so little by little we'll get there but right now up in the air leaf springs off of it check all these springs new bushings and then after that i'll probably get to the top take the top off so get to it. Another thing I got to get to is <clears throat> I'm going to replace these turbo mufflers. This one is, uh, you can see it's popped out and blown up and whatnot. But this one is like completely blown out. So looks like this thing had a couple of backfires, which I completely understand with how it's running so but I'm gonna get to uh trying to figure out these uh springs and whatnot and go from there hopefully i can figure this out um hopefully it's nothing you know bad bad but then also in the middle of all this when i get the springs out um while it's up in the air i have to get five lug converted to six lug uh we got new wheels and tires pretty awesome they look pretty good. Can't wait to put them on here. Hopefully they're the right offset. 
but this is what we're going. This is what we're working with now. Set of fuels and some BFGs. Got five of them. One for the uh, the spares. Hopefully, everything goes flawless from here on out. <laughs> Should <laughs> hopefully. All right, so just to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on here. I'm pretty sure these pins, like you can see that one right there is nowhere near like perfectly straight. So I'm pretty sure that one sheared and went forward. Nothing's really uh, correct dimension. Another thing we got to look at is the U joints right here are binding. So let's see if I can do this and not drop anything here. Like it binds right there, no one clearance this. So I'm gonna pull the drive shaft out, clearance all that. Um, probably just gonna drop the whole rear end because all this needs to be redone. That's not, uh, definitely not a safety thing in my book. <laughs> They're definitely not safe. I don't wanna say it's, hasn't met my safety criteria here. Anyway, we're gonna get to dropping the rear end. This is what we're working with. Obviously, those guys are on the ground, so. Oh. Yeah. It had been moving around for a while. Okay, that's a definite. And then, you know, perfectly straight. Oh dear. Look how far away it was. Eh, well, I just wiped it off. Whatever. It's definitely not where it was supposed to be. I put a little shimmy in it. So that's that one. And then this one, I think this one's actually still like in the middle of the first spring. So this one was actually located correctly, but you can see how far back. There's that one and yeah, whatever. Definitely not right. We'll put new pins in and get this rear end out of here. Go through that whole thing because this can't be, can't be like this. Got to be good. All righty, so I'm going to go ahead and redo all the brake lines. Look at this, it's got a compression fitting in the between. Eey, that's nice and safe. Get all these things cut off, re redo them. I don't know why the studs here. Get the whole thing rear and cleaned up and whatnot. New brake lines all the way across. And uh, get this tab off because this is not all, you know, redo it all. Because when we ordered some parts, we ordered all brand new stated lines, stated stainless steel lines and all the new fittings to make all the brakes uh, back to flawless. So get to uh doing the rear end hopefully the springs aren't bent um just by looking at them i mean obviously they're not just hanging there so i'm gonna measure from like center of pin to center of pin make sure they're even in the right direction hey these have numbers on them i didn't see the numbers i'll have to see what brand these are huh Learn something new every day. Got the rear end pulled. Leaf springs down. Now, gonna have to go through and uh, recenter them, clean them all up, stuff like that. Got the uh, front pivots out. They are beat to heck. So I ordered a brand new pair of. Uh, like old man emu um, pins 
kind of like what the front has. Somebody's already done on the front and they're greasable. So should save some bushings. But anyway, since I'm kind of uh, done for the night on that, decided I go ahead and got, uh, let's say notification, whatever, let's say, sure, go see if it'll happen. Um, to go take the 50 down and hopefully get the VIN verified tomorrow. Um, we did, well, you guys remember when I went out and picked it up and almost lost the trans completely in the ramp truck and was able to make it home. Woohoo! Come on, shift in the third, come on! There we go, there we go. Woo, we're gonna make it home, baby! We're gonna make it home! But I don't trust it to even drive to uh, DMV, so went ahead and I started getting uh, everything unstrapped. And for me to get this thing off of this and on my other trailer, because this trailer sits like ridiculously high, like like to the deck right here is like two, two foot something. So anyway, um, to get it on this trailer, I'm gonna have to do this. Otherwise, if it was on the ground, these ramps would be nowhere near long enough. But like this, it doesn't seem too bad. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. Hopefully I can get it back on this trailer and uh, get it to DMV tomorrow. And then to unload the truck, I'll just do the same thing. Back it right up here, put it on this, move that one out of the way and put it on the ground. So let the airbags air up a little bit, turn the compressors on and uh, get this thing up off the ground because with the airbags down all the way, this thing is almost, almost flat on the, like, and like the back is still aired up right now. I can even go lower in the back. It'll tuck the wheel down to about here. So, but anyway, long story short, get this thing loaded up and hopefully get it over to uh, DMV tomorrow. Get the VIN verification taken care of so I can start driving it. See you guys soon. Oh boy. Ay, ay, ay. So, got it like halfway on. And then come to find out. Yeah. That hits there. And go all the way, go all the way around to the other side. <laughs> Oh boy, this truck is just one of those things. This thing has been a bane on me so much. This is like the galaxy all over again. <laughs> so I even get over to this side. And yeah, nerp, ain't gonna happen either. Ain't gonna happen either. Great.